Hi students, so this is the JavaScript exercise that you did earlier. So uh, if I click on this, uh, you can see that there are some, some logic here. So basically what we are doing is client-side JavaScript. So the reason it's called client-side is because uh, it is the user browser, in this case the Chrome, that is processing all the JavaScript codes that you have written. So therefore, it is called client-side JavaScript. So for this particular, for the next exercise that we are going to do, okay, it will be run as server-side JavaScript. All right. So that means to say nothing to do with the browser anymore. Okay. In fact, we will be using Node.js. All right. So uh, let me show you how to set up. So this is my CDEF folder, right? So I'm going to create a new folder. Okay, it can be any name. So I just call it server JS. All right. So the folder is empty. So I'm going to my uh, Visual Studio now. All right. So I'm going to choose file, open folder. Right. And I'm going to choose the folder that I've created earlier. So it will be CDEF. Uh, where's my CDEF? Okay, yeah, CDEF server JS. All right. So we are mapping to this particular folder. All right. So there are no files here. So we are going to uh, start a server-side JavaScript project. Okay, so we will need a terminal. So click on terminal, new terminal. All right, and we have already installed Node.js. Okay, so what? How we can tell is we can just run the command node hyphen hyphen version. All right, and then if Node.js has been installed, it will tell us what is the current version. All right, so this is my version. Okay, if over here it becomes too messy, you can always type. Uh, clear all right okay so how to start a JavaScript project here a server-side JavaScript project here so what you can do is you can type npm all right so npm is the node package manager all right so this is like a ut utility to help you uh, to start a project and after starting a project is to help you to get the necessary node.js libraries that we will be using okay so we're going to start a project. So all, all we need to do is to type npm init. Okay, so it stands for initialization. So press enter. It's going to ask you some questions, uh, which is quite trivial. All right. So basically, uh, all right. So uh, package name, okay. Uh, the, okay, uh, I think we can just accept. Okay, so we can just press enter. Uh, just press enter to accept the default value. Enter, 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 enter. Okay, just press enter all the way. Okay, is this okay? Then, uh, just press enter. All right. Okay. So, uh, in fact, okay, after doing all these things, okay, it's going to create one, one file for us. Okay, this is called the package dot JSON. Okay, so what? What is the role of this file? Uh, it has a few roles. For example, uh, if we just do a very generic run command, it's going to run this file, okay, in text.js, which we don't have it at the moment, all right. And then, okay, if we need to uh, so-called find additional Node.js library, okay, which we will be doing that in uh, from week five onwards, okay. Then uh, all the li libraries will be specified here, and we can do a npm install. All right. So for this particular lesson, we are going to try out to uh, process server-side JavaScript, which is using Node.js to run our JavaScript. All right. So according to the lab sheet, okay, uh, we are supposed to create uh, one JavaScript file called bankaccount.js. Okay. So we can click on this icon here. Okay, and then uh, we will just put in the name bank account using camera casing.js. Alright, 
so it is it is an empty file okay and this is where uh, we are going to uh, tap in our codes for bank account dot gs okay so i'm going to uh, basically just get the files all right so this is the bank account dot js so uh, i will not be running this file because this is just a just a class file so next uh, we need to create another javascript file so it is called test.js okay so this is the file that we want to run okay so uh, we just put a very simple command console.log hello world all right okay semicolon all right and now we want to run this file so when we run this file this is known as server-side javascript because we are using the node.js to run the javascript file so remember client-side javascript means that we are relying on the browser javascript engine to run the javascript file so server-side js simply means that we are not using the browser we are in this case we are using the node.js runtime okay to run the javascript file so that is known as server-side javascript okay so to run this is very simple all i need to do is to just put node followed by test.js all right and then uh, the output will be shown here in the console okay of course uh, in the time to come we will be doing much more uh, complicated stuff like querying the database uh, performing logic here okay so uh, so for this particular exercise we are going to uh, tap in the following code okay uh, which is to make use of this particular class here all right so you can see the linking here and then uh, some other javascript statement here okay so this one i will leave it uh, for you to type out all these things so let me run again the command and i'm going to get these outputs all right so thank you for tuning in